Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This is week 7 assignment of the course blockchain and its applications. Guys, please watch the video till the end. Don't skip the video because if I make any changes in between the video, you can be able to note that. So do watch full video without skipping. These are completely our probable solutions guys. So first question, which statements are not true about Byzantine dissemination quorum? So for first question, we have got two probable solutions. Option B, there is always a quorum available with no faulty replicas. And the other one is option D, there is always a quorum available with some faulty replicas. So mark option B and option D as probable solution for first question. Now let's move on to the second one. Guys, uh, if, if there are any changes that come to our notice, definitely we will update that in the comment section. And you can also give your opinion in the comment section. So before final submission, once again, visit the video's comment section if for any update available, right? Second one, if you have F number of fault, total faulty nodes, then you need at least how many replicas to reach consensus considering the possibility of both crash fault or Byzantine fault. So for second question, option B, 3F plus 1 is the probable solution, guys. So mark option B as the probable solution for second question. Guys, if you are new to our channel, definitely subscribe our channel and click the bell icon for more updates and definitely like the video, guys. If you like the video, our videos will reach more number of students, further more number of students so that they will also get benefited like you, right? So please help them by clicking on the like button so that it will reach more number of students and please share this video within your whatsapp college groups which cryptographic technique is primarily used in pbft to validate message integrity so for third question option c digital signatures digital signatures as the probable solution for third question Next, fourth one. Which mechanism ensures PBFT liveness when the primary fails? So for fourth question, option B, view change protocol. View change protocol as the probable solution for fourth question. Now let's move on to the fifth one. Fifth one, which of the following statements are not true regarding hyperledger frameworks? Not true. So for fifth question, there are three probable solutions. Option D, option C and option B guys. So mark B, C and D as the probable solutions for fifth question. Next, moving on to the sixth one. Before getting into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs for the course blockchain and its application. We have prepared exam preparation MCQs guys. These are the combination of past NPTEL assignment MCQs as well as our own handmade MCQs extracted 100% from NPTEL syllabus with five years of NPTEL experience. So here you are going to get a huge number of 300 MCQs, 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for one person it is 300 rupees. If you take it along with your friends or classmates in a combined pack of two to five persons access, you'll get it for just 500 rupees only per group. So individually you can get it for less amount if you share the price among yourself. Each one will get the 300 MCQs. So it's very beneficial if you take it for 2 to 5 persons combined for 500 rupees. So please share this news with your friends and classmates and one for one person from the group mail me to this email id bk179417 at the red gmail.com so only if you are confirmed to make the purchase then only mail us. So already many students, professors and associate professors have also taken the pack guys. So take it now itself so that you can get more time to prepare at the end right. 
so huge number of 300 mcqs the validity will be till the exam results day so you can no need to worry about the access and search option is provided and it high high number of concepts are covered so 300 mcqs huge number of mcqs for 1300 rupees for 2 to 5 persons combinedly find it so already many students have taken our pack and got benefited guys so and there is another pack that is youtube membership pack here you will only get 100 plus mcqs not like 300 mcqs for one person it is 89 rupees only and it is for one month in a video format if you want this youtube membership sample pack you can no need to mail us you can directly go to our youtube channel page so s kumar edu beside the subscribe button there is a join button so click on this join button then a small window will open like this a small window open like this select the second one videos only for members pack that is 89 per month pack click on this blue color join button and fill in the necessary details and make payment directly to youtube not to us that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our members only videos here you can see we have prepared blockchain and this application part one and part two as well right and other courses as well you can get all these videos for that single 89 rupees no extra charge needed but if you are preparing in a final exam point of view, my suggestion is it's better to take this huge number of 300 MCQs pack because you are getting more MCQs, which means you are covering more syllabus and validity also for till the exam results day. So for one person, it is 300 rupees for two to five persons combinedly 500 rupees. So mail me to this email ID bk179417 at the gmail.com. So we will give the same email ID in the description box as well. So that's it guys. Now let's get back to the solutions, right? Sixth one, which of the following is or are benefits of blockchain for business? So for sixth question, we have got two probable solutions. The first one is option A and the other one is option C. So mark option A and option C as the probable solution for sixth question. As the solutions right now let's move on to the seventh one which of the following are characteristics of permission blockchains in comparison with permission less blockchains so for seventh question option a closed membership consensus protocol in permission blockchains so option a is the probable solution guys so mark option A as the probable solution for 7th question. Now let's move on to the 8th one. Which of the following abstractions in hyperledger fabric primarily provides confidentiality to individual ledgers? So for 8th question, option C, channels. Channels is the probable solution, guys. So mark option C, the probable solution. Next, moving on to the ninth one. What is the role of membership service provider MSP in Hyperledger Fabric? For ninth question, option B, guys. Identity management for network participants. So mark option B as the probable solution for ninth question. Now let's move on to the final question, tenth one. Which of the following are key features of hyperledger fabric? So for tenth and final question, I have got two probable solutions. The first one is option A, modular architecture with pluggable components, and the other one is option c guys support for smart contracts chain codes in general purpose languages so mark option a and c as a probable solutions for 10th and final question so friends these are the most probable solutions for week 7 assignment of blockchain and application course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 300 mcqs pack in a google drive pdf restricted link 
for one person it is 300 rupees for two to five persons combinedly 500 rupees so this is the mail id guys bk1794178 at the red gmail.com so take it now itself guys so exams are coming soon so take it now itself so that's it guys for this video and keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you